There are several different theories about the origin of the name hummingbird cake. Some say that the cake is so sweet and delicious that it makes you hum with happiness. This is another one of my bunt cakes made without egg, milk, or butter. To make this hummingbird cake, you will need three cups of flour, one and a half cups of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg. You'll also need one and a half cups of ripe mashed bananas, eight ounces of a canned crushed pineapple with juice, one cup of chopped nuts, either walnuts or pecans. You'll also need for your liquid ingredients, two teaspoons of vanilla, three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil, one tablespoon of distilled white vinegar, and three quarters of a cup of water. You'll start by adding your three cups of flour to a large mixing bowl, your sugar, all your dry ingredients, your baking soda, your salt, your nutmeg and cinnamon, and you're going to mix this all together. Once it's thoroughly mixed together, add your bananas, your pineapple and the juice, and your nuts. And mix it together until it's lightly coated with all the flour. Now at this point, you've preheated your oven to 350 to 375, depending on your oven, and you've prepared your butt pan. And your next addition would be your vanilla, your vegetable oil, and your water. I'm going to mix this until it's thoroughly mixed together. And our last addition will be the distilled vinegar, which is your leavening ingredient. And so once the vinegar is added, this mixture goes directly into the prepared butt pan and into the oven for 45 to 55 minutes. Your final addition, your distilled white vinegar. And you'll start to see this mixture come to life, foaming, as the chemical reaction with the baking soda starts to activate this mixture. And now, directly into a prepared bunt pan. Now into our preheated oven. Our beautiful cake is out of the oven and is cooled to room temperature. And I'm giving it a light dusting of powdered sugar. Versions of this cake have been prize winners in county fairs in the South for years, but the first noted printed recipe appeared in Southern Living in 1978. This cake will keep in the refrigerator for up to a week and it freezes well too. Whether you dust this cake with plain powdered sugar or ice it with the traditional cream cheese frosting, adding coconut, shredded coconut and chopped nuts, this cake is always a crowd pleaser and sure to become a family favorite.